Oh yeah, it's Kachoy Pepe time! Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you're watching from. Today we're making a fantastic Roman from Rome, Italian. You're dish. making a Roman? It's a Roman pasta, darling. Okay. The pasta that comes from Rome, from Roma. We all love Rome. Uh, millions of people have been to Rome and I believe half of those People uh, add at least cacio e pepe once in their life. Cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. The real mac and cheese. Are you guys ready? Come on. I want to show you in 10 minutes how easy it is to make cacio e pepe. Something's got, happening over there. I've got the pasta <laughs> boiling over there. I think the water is coming out. You mean so, you've got the water boiling? The water boiling. <laughs> okay, the first thing we need to do is to boil the spaghetti. So as the spaghetti are boiling, we are going to make the sauce. So, get a nice packet of spaghetti, guys. Go for top quarter if you can. You only live once. And this coronavirus is making you understand. We only live once. So let's eat well. Let's only have good food. Like what Nona always said. So, a packet of spaghetti. So, Suzanne, are you very hungry? Um, well, it's a bit early. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll make 300 grams of Okay, pasta. sounds okay. good. So I'm making 300 grams of pasta. Let's say half a packet, okay? Just for me and Suzanne. I'm making half a packet, a little bit more than half. You okay to send me this? Yeah, I think that's more than enough for us okay, for breakfast. For breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, cacio e pepe, you have to eat hot. Yeah, that's right. So come with me. I'm going to put the spaghetti in the pasta water, in the water. So the water is boiling here, okay? Lots of people have just joined us. What are you making? Cacio e pepe, cacio e pepe. Easy 10 minutes, cacio e pepe. Okay. We are live on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Simultaneously, everywhere. Oh, simultaneously, are... I like how you everywhere. say that. I don't know how to say it. You so, say good. Water, okay. So Normally, water. I always, I always water. tell you guys, when you cook pasta, please use a large pot. I always say that to you, you know that. For you who's been following me for a long time, you know, pasta should be cooked in a large pot. But today we're using a small pot, less water, simply because we need lots of starch to make the sauce, okay? Here I'm adding about one tablespoon of rock salt. Rock salt gives a flavor to a pasta, okay? You're not eating the salt, don't worry. And now I'm gonna put the spaghetti in, okay? Oh, that spaghetti. Looks very nice. Looks lovely. lovely. <laughs> so the spaghetti, as you can see, you don't have to press. Look, even though I'm using a small pot here, they go down easily. They go down. See, look at that. I don't have to do. I don't have to touch it. So don't press. Don't push. Don't stress your food. So from now, darling, we need to count. This pasta takes nine minutes to cook. We are not gonna cook the pasta for nine minutes. We are gonna cook the pasta for two minutes less. So if your packet of pasta says six minutes, you cook it for four. If my packet says nine minutes, we are gonna cook it for seven. <laughs> seven minutes, okay? Look, see the spaghetti are down. What I'm gonna do in a couple of minutes, I'm going to stir this, okay? I'm going to stir it, but for now, it can be, it, it's okay. So let's make the sauce. Very easy. You're getting fun, Suzanne? I am. Pardon? I mean, oh, look, quick, I'm going to stir the pasta. Quick, I've got seven minutes to make the sauce. Okay, seven uh, seven minutes now. Uh, no, well, it cooks for nine, so seven, maybe that was not clear. The pasta is on the packet, it says nine minutes. But I'm cooking the pasta for seven minutes. Okay, so, so all you have to do is, less. according to your packet instructions, cook it two minutes less. That's right. That's, that's right. it. That's right. Easy, very easy. Um, lots of comments, lots of people online. We've got some friends on. Philip's here from Montreal. Oh, hey, Claire Montreal. says good morning. Morning, everyone. Joe Sawo says good morning. Bloomington, Illinois, Florida. Hi, Frederick. Florida. Frederick's online. Frederick, we're waiting for you. <laughs> Suzanne was very sorry that you had to wait. <laughs> Um, who else have we got? Jesse DeMeo. Oh, I tried, oh, this, I tried this recipe but added way too much pepper. Don't worry. Uh, my dad did the same actually. My dad, yeah, he yes, did, my yeah. dad, he copied my recipe and he put too much pepper. And I said to him, I know you love pepper, but relax. So look at this guys. The pan, get a no stick pan if you can. And what we do, it's a must. This is a must. We grate, not grate. We crush the pepper freshly. So 
put as much paper as you like. So as you can see. So let me come in nice and close. There is no water, there's no olive oil, there's nothing in this recipe. We're gonna toast the pepper and then we're adding a little bit of pasta water. So you add quite a lot at this point. Look, I don't think this is a lot. Do you think it's a lot? I think it's a lot because I don't love pepper. You but know. I love cacio pepper. That's <laughs> right. Look, we don't want to put too much. My dad, Susan, remember what he did? He actually put a lot. He put 10 times more than this. What I've got here, I don't know how many grams. You really need to decide how much you, I don't know how much you love. That's what, heaps. But it's not heaps, Suzanne, because... It feels like look, heaps. What we're going to do now, we're going to toast it for a couple of minutes. So we got, what, five minutes left, Alan? We have five minutes I don't know, left. I'm not timing. Oh, not, okay. <laughs> Sorry. We have five minutes left. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to toast this for about three minutes. Then I'm going to add a little bit of pasta water in there. Okay. Okay. Marissa and said she never gets tired of watching you and your family. Chow from New Jersey, hey, one so of her fine. favorite dishes. New Jersey. And wow. Trevor said you can have never have enough pepper. I love pepper. Never enough pepper. And 50 and Fabulous gave you a donation. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, you're so kind. On YouTube. Pepper. We've been following on YouTube for such a long time. 50 and Fabulous. Thank you so much for being so wonderful. Thank you for the YouTube support. You can donate on YouTube um, for say thanks to you and thank you, my friend. Now, let's make the sauce. Let's make the cacio pepe, which is the real mac and cheese. So, here I've got pecorino cheese. You like <laughs> Just a little cheese? bit. Can you smell the pepper? I can mm. smell it. I've got pecorino yeah, cheese. Yeah, so it's starting to kind of steam up. So this won't burn, will it? The no, pepper? no, 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 it won't burn, but you know, three minutes is enough. Look, so then, pecorino. Now, how much pecorino are you going to use? I'm going to put it here, so then have a look. Oh, sorry. No. How much pecorino are we going to use? Oh my God, I can't breathe. The pepper Too much pepper. pepper. <laughs> look, how much pecorino is then? Look, I can probably put three tablespoons because there's two of you. No. Sorry? I put four tablespoons. There's <laughs> two of me? Yeah, because you have a baby inside. Oh! You, so. We love pecorino, actually, you know what, it's two of us, let's put five spoons. Do you think it's enough, Suzanne? Well, so we can always add, let's can't six. you? Let's do three tablespoons each, that's how much we love cheese. I've got some more on the side, Suzanne, don't, don't be scared. Now, what we do, come with me, darling, we're going to get a little bit of water. Oh, I can't breathe, the pepper. Oh my gosh, the steam. What we're going to do here, we're going to get a little bit of pasta water. The pasta is not stuck. These are top quality Perfect. pasta. And I'm getting just a little bit of water. I'm putting the water in there, look, Come with the cheese. Oh, in here. In here, see the cheese, I've got the pecorino. I'll just put a little bit of water because I want to create a little cream, okay, with this pecorino. And also, I'm going to get one spoon, like one of this water, to put with the pepper. Make sense? Makes sense. Okay, come, let's come back and I'll show you what I'm talking about, okay. Here is the pepper, which let I don't want to burn. Get me just back to position. <laughs> which I don't want to burn the pepper. No. So what I'm doing is I'm going to add water in there. Now the flavors are really coming out. Wow. And here I've got uh, six spoons of pecorino cheese, because we love it. I put a little bit of water, and I'm going to create a cream, a very thick pecorino cream, okay? And that's all you need, a little bit of water. Yeah, more cheese, more cheese, said growing up Italian. But see, <laughs> okay, Joanne, but see, I don't believe this is enough cheese for you and I, Suzanne. I don't think six tablespoons of pecorino romano is enough. I don't enough. think any pecorino romano is enough. I don't really believe it's enough, okay? Oh, now, that peppery cook, smell. Hey, how long do we cook the pasta for? Come on, I told you I'm not watching. Okay, so what do we do now? <laughs> You'll have to do a try. And can I just let everyone know, can everyone see all that steam? Oh, you probably can't it see. <laughs> it's We're going to have a Look, steam bath. You can't bar. see me, can you? We're have a sauna. <laughs> Look at this. See how, see how creamy this is? See how dense? Yeah, right. See okay, so dense? it's thick. Very thick. It's not like a creamy paste. It's no. like quite dense. Very like dense. Like it comes creamy, but it's yeah, dense. Yeah, it will. Okay. But at this point, we want this to be very thick, okay? Pecorino okay. and... Pasta water. Okay. I have to take the water out of them. We are from so. Orsogna, Provincia di Chieti, Abruzzo. Ciao, Ciao Grace. Ciao, Grace, Grace Romano. Ciao. Vieni qua, vieni, vieni qua, vieni qua. You keep making me do this. I'm sorry. No what one understands the obstacles. I'm not going to use... <laughs> Excuse uh, me, sorry. It's very hard to breathe. I'm not going to use the, uh, how do you call it? The, um, the pasta strainer. I'm just going to take it out with this. Okay. How long have we been cooking since then? Vincenzo, I haven't been keeping time. So the video's been out for nine minutes. Okay, should be okay. 
Look, I'm gonna put the pasta very al dente in there. But it continues to cook in there, right? Well, we need to add water in there now. Yeah, it's very difficult to breathe. It's not actually from the pepper, it's all this steam. See, we didn't put the fan on <laughs> above the oven. Yeah, so but it's sorry. too noisy. We didn't put the fan on above the oven because it's too noisy for all of you, but now, <laughs> now we can't breathe. Now, let me get a little bit of pasta water. Sure. Okay? So why are we using pasta water, Suzanne? Whoops! Why are we using, Why are we using water? Because isn't it full of starch? So it helps the it cream. Is. It helps to create the cream. It is. So here we want to make sure that we cover the pasta with the water. Okay? And we call it mantecatura. Bravissima. Mantecatura risottata, which is like when you make risotto. Come back here with me. With that. Can I just say this quickly before you move? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Whoops. Okay, sorry. Thank you for helping. Yeah, come down, have a look. Okay, let me hold this. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay. That's better. Mantecatura but risottata. are you going to show off for everyone? Oh, of course I'm going to show off. <laughs> Can't wait. Right. I think our fire alarm is going to show off in a minute. I need my water there, so I'm keeping the water there. And what we do, <laughs> this is where the magic begins. <laughs> the beauty of being live. <laughs> yeah, we can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, I can be on TV. I can do live on TV. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a mantecatura risottata. So I've got water in there. And when, what this means, get up with the window down, open the window. I can't breathe. What this means, we can't breathe in here, guys. It's steam, the pepper. So make sure you open the window when you make cut your paper. What you do here, guys, mantecatura risottata, it means you cook it like a risotto. So you need to keep stirring. <laughs> so that way, your pasta, all the pasta will cook. So the pasta at the top will cook as well. And that's what you need to do for a long time, two minutes. Sorry? Are you calculating how long I'm moving? No! <laughs> well, to be fair, you took it out at 9.50 and it's 11.50 now, but I think by the time you actually took it out, put it in, give it another at least 30 seconds or more, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, so it should be about one minute left. Yeah. As you a can see, it's what I'm doing. A very steamy episode today. It's very, Benno. Very steamy episode, yes. <laughs> what are you making? We're making cashew pepe. We're showing everyone how easy it is to make in just basically 10 minutes. 10 minutes! Yeah! Look, look. Look, look, we're pretty much done here. Look, look. Oh no, someone's cutting the grass. Oh no! Oh, he's here, darling. Don't worry, can't close. He's cutting the grass. <laughs> Can everyone hear okay? Should be okay. Look okay. At this. okay. Okay, sorry. Back so to it. We just need so to that looks to... cooked now. So now do you. Now what? No, it's not cooked yet. Look, I've still got water inside. Ah, oh, so that's what you got to tell everyone then. you got to wait well, until the water. You need to try. And to me, it looks al dente, this one. It still looks. Bit but did you show off and do a um a flip, a pan oh, yeah. flip? Thirty more seconds, and the pasta is ready. Will you have any meat in this dish or just the pasta? Look, you can add bacon, you can add pancetta if you want, but then it becomes. But it's not cacio e pepe no. anymore. So cacio e pepe is basically just pecorino cheese, pepper, and spaghetti. Okay. And as you can see, guys, this pasta is ready. It's done. <laughs> what we need to do now is to add the thick pecorino that we made before. Remember this? Oh my god! <laughs> I think the yes. gardener wants to have some food. <laughs> Look what I'm doing now. I put this cheese inside. Look how simple this is. I put the cheese inside, okay? Look at this technique now. We switch off the pan. Why do we switch it off, then? Um, because we have to make sure the pasta stops cooking. But at the same way? time, we don't want to make the cheese filante. Right. Filante is when it's like stringly. Right, okay. We don't want that to happen. How do you, how do you say it? Stringy. Stringy. Not <laughs> stringly. But stringly is a nicer word, I think. Stringly. And what we do, we just look at look at the cream that's coming out. So Tony like, said, how are you not sneezing? I have no idea, Tony. It's all in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> we will sneeze after. I don't want you to think. Uh, <laughs> look, look at the cream. See that? See that? That's a combination of right. water and pecorino. See how the great. simplicity of this? See the simplicity? See? See that? At this point, as we go, Suzanne, can I add more pecorino? Do you mind? Of course you should add more so pecorino. So we used six tablespoons of pecorino before, just for the two of us. For the cream, for the initial for cream. The cream. But I'm adding more as we go. And don't forget, the... I think I need to close the door. Yes, the cooktop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, Vince said um, we had meatballs and we had pasta for dinner tonight. My daughter made meatballs like mm. Mama used to make, and they were delicious. You guys know. Mm, yum, well, sounds great, nice Vince. Oh. Dan said he's pasta. hungry too. Yum, thanks for this. Oh, Dan Love from Pittsburgh. Dan Pancho Pepe. Look at this, guys. Look at the, at the simplicity. 
Michael Cavuccio ah, sì. said that looks so good. No, Michael, let me go with Michael. Guanciale, Michael. Good in there. Uh? guanciale. You can put guanciale, of course. Then it becomes a kind of carbonara, but why not? But look what's happening over here. I want to see, I want to show you how creamy this is. The pasta is done. You can add more pepper now or maybe fresh on your plate. But come on, have a little closer, darling. Sure. I want to show you here. The it's okay, beautiful, I can see. The beautiful cream that we have created. See that? See, see, it's a bit runny now, but by the time you put it in your plate, this run, this won't be runny anymore. This will become very, very creamy. So my recommendation is to get a plate. Right. So, so that part doesn't actually go um, too creamy yet. No, but when you put it in your plate, you will see it's how. Right. Yeah. But you haven't will. flipped it yet. Doesn't everyone oh. want to see Vincenzo flip okay, the pan? Okay, let's flip the pan. Ready? Ah. Uh, ready. You're not getting away with it. Mm, not too bad. <laughs> not easy. Oh, he's very serious. Vincenzo went quiet. <laughs> Vincenzo's gone quiet. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Round of applause. Mantecatura. I have to be quiet, eh? I still hear very clear. Now, look, this is what's happening, guys. You get the pasta, you can present it like the homemade guys, homemade, don't worry about presentation. Get it in the plate, just like this. Look at the pepper. See? The local yeah. farm delivered to us handmade chorizo sausages. I fried them, added marzano tomatoes and served it with a nice spaghetti. That's what Trevor said. Yum. Nice, Trevor. And Robert said we would oh. make this at 7 a.m. after a night of partying in Miami. Oh, so oh. good, Miami party. What are you going to do? Look at that. Look how beautiful this pet is. Now, I've got a little bit of cream inside here. Like I said, it's a bit runny now. But look, this is going to become creamy. And I just put it on top. Just on top like this. Yum. That's now, a serious expression, but no. I know, you never see him like that, do you? Extra pecorino. Extra pecorino. And just more pepper. So we didn't get enough. Of course not. And this is how easy it is to make. A cacio e pepe pasta. The cacio e pepe of the kings and the queens. And I want to show you how creamy this is, okay? Remember what I said to you before? It's a little bit runny. It's a bit runny in the pan. But but there's not, it's not it, runny in there, though. No. When you mix it, it becomes so creamy. Look how creamy it is now. There's no water in there. Look. I want to show the plate. Can you see any water? Is no, there's runny? not. Yeah, it's not, not runny anymore. But the... The pasta is completely covered in the cream. Completely well, not cream, but the cheesy cream. You can't really see it, but look, we just had breakfast. Aren't so this is another good example of why we always say to people, you don't need cream in these types of pasta. Nah. You just need really good quality cheese and you need the right temperature, right? Because even we had a friend over here. Where is it? Um, mm. Yeah, Matt. Matt was saying, I've worked hard to to perfect my cacio e pepe. Make sure your skillet isn't super hot or the cheese will clump. Bravissimo. That's clump, exactly that's right. Clump, yeah. But look how moist this is. This is moist in my mouth. I've got a top quality spaghetti. Very, very beautiful and, how do you say, Suzanne? Smooth to your palate. And it's not very strong. The pepper is not overpowering. I didn't put enough pepper, Suzanne. Is it enough? And the pecorino, even though the pecorino is very salty, it's very strong and rich in flavors, it's very delicate. It, that's what's fascinating about it. It's very, very delicate. I think the water um, makes it more delicate. Well done, Vincenzo, said Frederick. And over 50 and fabulous, lots of claps. Hello from Canada, looks good. Michael said he wishes he was here to help help you eat it and bring a nice bottle of Montepulciano da Bruzzo. I wish Michael I was with you. Hello yes. from Brazil, Alessandra. Hey, obrigado, Alessandra. Obrigado. Congrats for the coming baby. Robert Thank said you. delicious. Paul and nice. But Rocco said buon appetito, Vincenzo. Oh, Rocco. And you've now made Madeline hungry. Madeline, let's eat together. Look how wonderful this is. It takes 10 minutes to make it. You go to the restaurants, they charge you $25 for this. Seriously? With $25, you can buy four packets of pasta, one kilo pecorino, and lots of love. Look. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Robert made minestra calabrese stasera. What's minestra calabrese? Um, minestrone calabrese. No, no, interesting. <laughs> Scotty, beam the spaghetti to my place before Vincenzo eats every spaghetti, please. <laughs> I will tell you guys, we only ate breakfast one hour ago. I know, now you've smoothie. made me hungry again. This poor baby. Suzanne, trust me, this is a must. It's a great brunch. Mm. 
Mm. You're definitely chowing that down. Mm. I want to reach through the screen with a fork, said mm. Alibaba Furball. I'm too good. <coughs> I'm so sorry about all this coughing, guys. This is so funny. The pepper's going right in the it back is. of my throat. I don't know why we worry too much about spending too much money for money. Uh, for too food, much money for money. Uh, fine dining and all these things. We're looking for recipes that... I don't know, they're just, <clears throat> they're just modern and fancy, but we never go wrong with classic food. We never go wrong with traditional food that's been around for generations and generations. We are talking about food that has been tested by great-grandparents, grandparents, your parents, you. So why change it? Well, Let's virtual, keep the traditions alive. Virtual Dinner Party said spaghetti for breakfast sounds good to me. And Sue's online on Instagram. She said, Ciao from Manitoba, Canada. Nonna made us meatballs and sauce for me, my brother, and my son. Uh, I had to food. deliver each batch, and we all ate Nonna's pasta separately in isolation tonight. Very lucky. Nonna's, you see, you never go wrong with Nonna. Nonna's food is 10 times better than your best restaurant in your town. And you know those 50 best restaurants in the world? I don't believe in them. I think the best <laughs> is the trattoria where the nonna is in the kitchen. Or in your own home. On your own home. Isa said, love your cooking. Reminds me of my childhood in Teramo. I now live in Canada. Wow. Oh, wow. Whereabouts in Canada are you living? Alessandra said, yummy. And Blake said, I love, love this, di this dish. So simple mm -hmm. but needs to be executed perfectly. Rob said a good one. Vincenzo is going to gain a lot of weight by the time the baby is born. I actually lost four kilos, my friend. Yeah. It's about what, two pounds? Perfetto, uh, said over 50 and fabulous. Thank you, over 50 and fabulous. How about you, my friend? Old school traditional is the best, said Gigi. Look at this. Oh my gosh, yeah. Vincenzo, you ate it all. Indeed, look how creamy it is. <laughs> While we've been ch chatting, you've just been eating. Minister Calabrese with pig skin, pork ribs and pig's feet. Before we leave, I want to tell you one more thing. I made this for a um, good oh, friend Oh, it's from Calgary. Mine. For a good friend. Hello, Manitoba. I'm in Calgary. Oh, wow. Hey, Calgary. We have to go That's from Virtual Dinner Party and Issa. They're Hopefully, all this virus stuff. They're both in Hopefully Calgary. We're going to go to Canada and USA next year. We were planning to come to USA this year, but not going to happen. Another thing I like to do, I like to grate some truffle. If truffle is in season, at the end, when your cashew pepper is ready, <laughs> grate um, beautiful truffle on top. D, D Home said Cavalo. <laughs> no, because I think of how fast you ate. And no, we had a comment that said really it took fast. you um, it took you ten minutes to make it, but five minutes for it to vanish. Yes, well it is. <laughs> koala. You like it? In better times. We're in Australia, guys, the land of koalas. Great work. Yeah. Abruzzo, you need a decent pecorino. Oh, yeah. Guys, we have a top quality pecorino here. Lots of Canadians, eh? <laughs> Very good pecorino. Canada, thank you for watching, Canada. Can Peace you make... Out to everyone. Oh, you... this is a good request. Can you make... Braciola next time? We make Braciola. Braciola Sicil Calabrese or Siciliana? That's the question. Federic mm -hmm. said, um, oh no, Scotty, you are late beaming the spaghetti to my place. I think they were trying to get um, spaghetti to one another. Oh, yeah. In Belgium, it's 3 a.m. and Michele Soprano yeah. is hungry now. Oh, Michele Soprano, grazie. Together with Frederick to watch from Europe. We got Canadians. What time is in Canada right now? Thank you, guys. Uh, I just want to let you know that we're doing this again on Thursday. Well, when it's Wednesday night in Canada or USA or Switzerland. Uh, but this time, at the same time, in two days. There's just Thursday. someone here. So thanks for not putting in cream like back to this time. We will do this for you, okay? I think we received the almond. Okay. We just received the pizza almond. So we are going to be making pizza on Thursday from scratch. Is it the pizza almond you say? No. No, okay. It's, but we not, are it's, getting, some, it's maybe some baby I, delivery. Oh yes. <laughs> We're getting a new pizza almond guys. And on Thursday at this time, which is Wednesday night for you guys in America and Canada, we are making Pizza at home, professional pizza at home, easy for beginners, but professional. Ciao guys and thank you for watching. Bye thank everyone, you. thanks for watching, thank you. And the bell is growing, Suzanne's bell it is, is growing. It is growing, I'll come and say hi next time. Bye. Bye guys. Oh my God, it's so hot and the pepper is right in my nose. <laughs> Bye I YouTube. Suzanne, if you don't eat, I'm gonna eat this. Bye thing. YouTube. Bye guys. Facebook, YouTube, My eight-year-old granddaughter wants to learn to make panzarotti, said Cabby. I've got Cabin the recipe Horse. on vincenzosplay.com. We're making panzarotti And virtual together. dinner party is subscribed. He's going to keep an eye out for next time. Yes, in two days we're making easy pizza. Easy, easy pizza. Ciao, Thank YouTube. You.
Ciao YouTube, ciao Facebook, see you.